Thank you very much. Wow. Well, I want to thank you all very much. This is great. These are our friends. We have thousands of friends on this incredible movement. This was a movement like nobody's ever seen before. Este es un momento que nunca habíamos visto antes. And frankly, this was, I believe, the greatest political movement of all time. There's never been anything like this in this country, and maybe beyond. And now it's going to reach a new level of importance because we're going to help our country heal. We're going to help our country heal. We have a country that needs help, and it needs help very badly. We're going to fix our borders. We're going to fix everything about our country. And we made history for a reason tonight, and the reason is going to be just that. We overcame obstacles that nobody thought possible, and it is now clear that we've achieved the most incredible political thing. Look what happened. Is this crazy? But it's a political victory that our country has never seen before. Nothing like this. I want to thank the American people for the extraordinary honor of the 47th Carolina. I love these places. Georgia, Pennsylvania, and Wisconsin. We are now winning in Michigan, Arizona, Nevada, and Alaska, which would result in us carrying at least 315 electoral votes. But that, but it's much easier doing what the networks did or whoever called it, because there was no other path. There was no other path to victory. We also have won the popular vote. That was great. Very proud of it. Thank you. Siento mucha energía de amor aquí. Unbelievable people standing by my side. These people have been incredible. They've made the journey with me, and we're going to make you very happy. We're going to make you very proud of your vote. Está muy orgulloso del voto de ustedes, dijo. Está refiriéndose ahora que el Partido Republicano tiene el control del Senado. In Montana, Nevada, Texas, Ohio, Michigan, Wisconsin, the great Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. We're all won by the MAGA movement. They helped so much. And in those cases, every one of them, we worked with the senators. They were tough races. And I mean, the, the number of victories in the Senate was absolutely incredible. And We did teller rallies. We did teller rallies with each one of them, and sometimes we did two or three for. And it was amazing to look at all of those victories. Nobody expected that. Nobody. So I just wanted to thank you very much for that. And we have, you have some great senators and some great new senators. Está hablando de eso. También dijo que el, la gente le dio un poder importante, proclamándose ya como el presidente número 47 de los Estados Unidos. Que la cantidad de triunfos en el Senado fue increíble, dice. Terrific job. I want to also thank my beautiful wife Melania, first lady. Le está agradeciendo la primera dama Melania Trump. La mira, saluda.
who has the number one best-selling book in the country. Can you believe that? Ahora se acerca para abrazarla. Oh, no, she's done a great job. Works very hard. Works very hard to help people. So I just want to thank her. I want to thank my whole family. My amazing children. And they are amazing children. A mi grandes hijos. And we all think our children are amazing. Everybody here thinks their children are amazing. A todos los hijos de ustedes. It's a good thing when you think they are. But Don, Eric, Ivanka, Tiffany, Baron, Laura, Jared, Kimberly, Michael, thank you all. What a help. What a great My father-in-law, Victor, is tremendous, and we miss very much Melania's mother, Amalia. We miss Amalia, don't we, huh? She Gracias would be very padre, happy la, right now, standing on this stage. She'd be so proud. La madre Melania. She was a great woman, that one. Beautiful inside and out. She was a great Buena woman. Fuera, se a la I want to be uh, the first to congratulate our great, now I can say, Vice President-elect of the United States, J.D. Vance. Ahora saluda a su vicepresidente, a J.D. Vance. And his absolutely remarkable and beautiful wife, Usha Bez. Y a su esposa, claro. And he is a feisty guy, isn't he? You know, I've said, go into the enemy camp. And you know, the enemy camp is certain networks. And a lot of people don't like to, sir, do I have to do that? He just goes, okay. Which one? CNN, MSDNC? He'll say, all right, thank you very much. He actually looks fun. He's still, like the only guy I've ever seen. He really looks forward to it. And then he just goes in and absolutely obliterates them. Say a couple of words. Mientras se saluda con con JD Vance. Wow. Y en el que se refería a que tenía algunos enemigos, algunas cadenas de televisión, menciona CNN, NSBC. Well, Mr. President, I appreciate you allowing me to join you on this incredible journey. I thank you for the trust that you placed in me. And I think that we just witnessed the greatest political comeback in the history of the United States of America. Está realzando evidentemente la figura de Donald Trump. And under President Trump's leadership, we're never going to stop fighting for you, for your dreams, for the future of your children, and after the greatest political comeback in American history, we're going to be the greatest economic comeback in American history under Donald Trump's leadership. The most powerful economic comeback in the history of the United States that's coming back, he says, realizing the figure of Donald Trump. These are the words of J.D. Vance. Thank you very much. He turned out to be a good choice. Hizo una buena elección. I took a little heat at the beginning, but he was, uh, I, knew, I knew the brain was a good one, about as good as it gets. And we love the family, and we're going to have a great four years, and we're going to turn our country around, make it something very special. It lost that, lost that little, it lost that little, uh, that little thing called special, we have to make it so. We're going to make this so great. It's, going to, it's the greatest country and potentially the greatest country in the world by far. And right now, we're going to just work very hard to get all of that back. We're going to make it the best it's ever been. We can do that. We just, if we had to wait longer, I don't know. It was going bad, and it was going bad fast. We're going to have to seal up those borders, and we're going to have Dice to make people come into de, de los próximos cuatro años que, que tienen por delante. We want people to come back in, but we have to we have to let them come back in, but they have to come in legally. They have to come in legally. Let me also express my tremendous appreciation for Susie and Chris, the job you did. Susie, come Susie, come here. En esta parte dijo que eh, eh, trabajarán para tener de regreso la, la, la calidad o la, la calidad de vida de cuando él era presidente y está recibiendo a alguien en el escenario también. Chris, 
también invita a, a que dé palabras. Susie likes to stay in the background. She's not in the background. This was unexpected, but I just want to thank, obviously, President Trump for this journey. It was a great one, um, and he's a hell of a candidate. Y son he's going to be a hell of a great 47th president. And this team that we had, the best team, and of course, even my boss, Susie Wiles, the best. Thank you. Thank you, and, and thank you, Susie. Look at this. She's I've never seen her be shot before. Susie. Uh, they've been, they're great. Everybody up here is great. Everybody up here is very special. But uh, the Trump, yeah, who did you say? Oh, let me tell you, we have a new star. A star is born. Tenemos un nuevo comienzo. Now he is. Now he's an amazing guy. We were sitting together tonight. You know, he spent two weeks in Philadelphia and different parts of Pennsylvania, campaigning. You know, he sent the rocket up two weeks ago, and I saw that rocket, and I saw it coming down. I saw it, it was, when it left, it was beautiful, shiny white. When it came down, it didn't look so pretty. It was going 10,000 miles an hour, and it was burning like hell. I said, what happened to your paint job? He said, we've never made a paint that could withstand that kind of heat. And, uh, but I saw it come down and turn around. And it was, you know, it's like 22 stories tall, by the way. It looks a little smaller than that, but it's big. And it came down and down, and you saw that fire burning. And, and I'm saying, only Elon can do this. It must be an Elon. And I tell the story. I told it last night. I had a man on the phone. I had the screen muted, no sound. I was talking to a very important man, happens to be here. And that very important guy, one of the most important people in... I would say the country, actually. But, you know, I was president, and now it looks like I was going to be maybe president again, so I figured I could ask him to hold. So I asked him to hold. And because, especially because you're going to be president again, they hold. So I took the phone down, and I'm looking at the screen. I'm seeing this crazy thing that's going around and coming down. It looks like it's going to crash into the gantry. And I said, oh no, and I said, do me a favor, do you mind holding for a couple of minutes? I want to see this. Está hablando del, la I thought it was a space age movie or hombre. something. I put the phone down. Bad part, I didn't pick it up for 45 minutes and he was holding. But this spaceship came down and I saw those engines firing and it looked like it was over, it was going to smash. And then I saw the fire pour out from the left side and I put it straight and it came down so gently and then it wrapped those arms around it and it held it and just like you hold your baby at night, your little baby. And it was a beautiful thing to see and I called Elon I said, Elon, was that you? He said, yes it was. I said, who else can do that? Can Russia do it? No. Can China do it? No. Can the United States do it other than you? No, nobody can do that. I said, that's why I love Está you, Elon. Está relatando el momento en el que él ve por el teléfono que hay un cohete que despega y que luego se estaciona solo. Está haciendo alusión a, al cohete de SpaceX, de Elon Musk. Y está diciendo que eso lo pueden hacer los rusos, no los chinos tampoco. This was a big water, as big as we've ever seen, water hurricane. It built lakes out of nothing. Fields became lakes, and, and the danger was unbelievable. And, The people from North Carolina came to me and they said, would it be possible, at all possible, for you to speak to Elon Musk? We need Starlink. I said, what's Starlink? It's a form of communication. So I called Elon, and I'll tell you what he had, and it was very dangerous. People would die. They had no communication. All the wires were down. I called Elon Musk. I said, Elon, you have something called Starlink. Is that right? Yes, I do. What the hell is it? He said, It's a Dice, communication hablé con él y le pregunté ¿qué, ¿qué es eso de, de Starlink? They need it really, really badly in North Carolina. Can you get it? He had that there so fast. It was incredible. So, and it was great. It saved a lot of lives. He saved a lot of lives. But he's a character. He's a special guy. He's a super genius. We have to protect our geniuses. We don't have that many of them. We have to protect our super geniuses. I want to thank some of the guys. You know, we have up here today, the U.S. Open champion. He's a fantastic office. He's talking about the system of communication of SpaceX. Just a little bit. De Bryson Mask. DeChambeau is up here someplace. 
What happened to Bryson? Where is he? ¿Dónde está? Bryson. Oh, he was shot. He's hitting balls. Oh, he's on the way. He's hitting balls. Bryson. Oh, look at him. He had a great, he's a, got a great career going. Great U.S. Open, Bryson. That's a fantastic job. And we also have a Mandana White who has done some job. He's a tough guy. <laughs> so Dana started UFC. And uh, came to me, do you mind if I use your... Nobody wanted to give him a rinse because they said it's a rough sport, a little rough. And uh, I helped him out a little bit and I went and they said, this is the roughest sport I've ever seen, but I began to like it. Está saludando parte de su adherente y se lo hizo con un tenista, le saludó el US Open. And you know, he's a very... A deportistas que lo están acompañando. ...motivational kind of a guy, what he does. He gets these fighters and they... They really go at it, and it's become one of the most successful sports enterprises. Es el, uno de los creadores de UFC al que se está refiriendo ahora. So well. I'd like to ask Danny just to say a couple of words because people love to hear from him. <laughs> al que está invitando al escenario en este momento a que entre, entre unas palabras. Nobody deserves this more than him, and nobody deserves this more than his family does. Nadie sirve como lo hace esta familia. This is what happens when the machine comes after you. What you've seen over the last several years, this is what it looks like. Couldn't stop him. He keeps going forward. He doesn't quit. He's the most resilient, hardworking man I've ever met in my life. His family are incredible people. This is karma, ladies and gentlemen. He deserves this. They deserve it as a family. I, I want to thank some people real quick. I want to thank the Nelt boys, Aiden Ross, um, uh, uh, Theo Vaughn, Bustle with the boys, and last but not least, the mighty and powerful Joe Rogan. And thank you, America. Thank you. Have a good night. Nadie se merece tanto como su familia. Nadie puede servir mejor. Fue parte de lo que dijo. That is a piece of work. Now he's an amazing, he's really an amazing guy. But most of all, I want to thank the millions of hardworking Americans across the nation who have always been the heart and soul of this really great movement. We've been through so much together, and today you showed up in record numbers to deliver a victory like really, I probably like no other. This was something, this was something special. And we're going to, we're going to pay you back. We are going to do the best job. We're going to. We're going to turn it around. It's got to be turned around. It's got to be turned around fast. And we're going to turn it around. We're going to do it in every way, with so many ways, but we're going to do it in every way. This will forever be remembered as the day the American people regained control of their country. Este es el día en el que la gente estadounidense retoma el control. Les ha sido un agradecimiento a todos so los estadounidenses que dejan el alma y el corazón trabajando. People, este es un people. gran grupo de gente. Fantastic people and we can add, uh, fantástica gente. A few names like Robert F. Kennedy Jr. Hay muchos nombres como Robert Kennedy Jr. And he's going to help él ayudó a hacer, a hacer América alegre de nuevo. And now he's a great guy, and he really means it. He wants to do some things, and we're going to let him go to it. I just said, but Bobby, leave the oil to me. We have more liquid gold, oil and gas. We have more liquid gold than any country in the world, more than Saudi Arabia. We have more than Russia. Bobby, stay away from the liquid gold. Other than that, well, go yeah, have a good happy. time, Bobby. We're going to be paying down debt. We're going to be reducing taxes. We, have, we can do no, things I, I, that nobody else impuestos. can do. Nobody else is going to be able to do it. China doesn't have what we have. Nobody has what we have. No, eh, China no puede hacer lo que, lo que hace nosotros. Also. Maybe that's the most important thing. This so, campaign, es this campaign has Esta been campaña. so historic in so many ways. We've Comienza built the biggest, the broadest, caminos. the most unified coalition 
They've never seen anything like it in all of American history. They've never seen any young and old, men and women, rural and urban. And we had them all helping us tonight. When you Ayúdenos. think, I mean, I was looking at it, I was watching it. They had some great analysis of the people that voted for us. Nobody's ever seen anything like that. It came from, they came from all quarters, union, non-union, African-American, Hispanic American, Asian American, Arab American. Muslim American, we had everybody, and it was beautiful. It was Todos a historic hermosos. realignment, uniting citizens of all backgrounds around a common core of common sense. You know, we're the party of common sense. We want to have borders. We want to have security. We want to have things be good and safe. We want to create education. We want a strong and powerful military and ideally we don't have to use it you know we had no wars for years no we had no wars guerras. except we defeated ISIS por años, excepto we defender. defeated ISIS in record time and, but we had no wars they said he will start a war I'm not going to start no vamos a comenzar wars. ninguna guerra dijo. but this is also a massive victory for democracy and for freedom Together por la democracia por la libertad por la gloria de Estados Unidos tenemos un increíble futuro. Ayer, en mi última etapa de campaña, dije... Está hablando de todos los mítines políticos que tuvo antes de su campaña. O sea, o durante su campaña. 901, But now we're going on to something that's far more important because the rallies were used for us to put, sí, be put in 900. this position where we can really help our country. That's what we're going to do. We're going to make our country better than it ever has been. Ayudar a a nuestro país es lo que vamos a hacer para hacerlo grande de nuevo. Me Mucha gente me dijo spared my life for a reason. And that reason was to save our country and to restore America to greatness. And now we are razón, going to fulfill que que that America mission together. We're going to fulfill that mission. The task before us will not be easy, but I will bring every ounce of energy, spirit, no será fácil. and fight that I have in my soul to the job that you've Pero entrusted trabajo, to me. This is a great job. There is no job like this. This is... The most important job in the world. El mayor trabajo, el, el Just más, as el I did in my first term, we had a great first term, a great, great first term. I will govern by a simple motto, promises made, promises kept. We're going to keep our promises. <laughs> Nothing will stop me from keeping my word to you, the people. We will Nada me va make America de safe, strong, la palabra prosperous, con powerful, and free again. And I'm asking every citizen all across our land to join me in this noble and righteous endeavor. That's what it is. It's time to put the divisions of the past four years behind us. It's time to de nosotros, unite. And we're going to try. We're going to try. We have to try. And Hay que it's going to happen. Success will bring us together. I've seen that. I've seen that. I saw that in the first term when we became more and more successful. People started coming together. Success is going to bring us together, and we are going to start by all putting America first. We have to put our country first for at America least a primero. period of time. We have to fix it. Because together we can truly make America great again for all Americans. So I want to just tell you what America great honor this is. I want to thank you. I will not let you down. America's future will be bigger, better, bolder, richer safer and stronger than it has ever been before. God bless you and God bless Dios America. Dios lo bendiga y Dios lo bendiga América. Thank you very much. Gracias. Hasta ahí las palabras aparentemente de Donald Trump entonces su primera locución como el ganador de las elecciones en Estados Unidos eh, se autoproclamó como el vencedor. Eh, es cierto que matemáticamente no tiene opciones la candidata demócrata de poder remontar eso y dijo varias cosas. Hagamos eh, o recapitulemos, ¿les parece parte de lo que dijo? Lo primero que comenzó diciendo es que es una victoria política que no se había 